Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of our football favorites, bean dip. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. This is a great thing. I don't know how many years we've been eating this, but we usually have it Sunday after churches. It's got four ingredients and it's become one of our favorites. I'm only gonna show you how to do it today. So we've got a can of refried beans and I'm gonna make just a half a batch. Usually you'd make the big, huge can, but. Okay, so kind of cut that up from being in the can a little. Then we're gonna take probably about a cup of salsa. You can use whatever favorite salsa you want. It's probably about right. I'm gonna use a half a brick of cream cheese and we're gonna cut that up into chunks. This is probably the hardest part is getting this cheese. I know you smell that cheese. You don't get any more. Okay, so we got a half a brick of cream cheese in there. Then I have about four and a half ounces and I'm just using Tillamook cheddar sliced because it has to get cubed up anyway. So it's super easy. Just cube that up. You can use shredded cheese if you want. It's all gonna get stirred up and hot and melty. All right, so in goes the cheese. Give this a kind of a stir. Now, sometimes this is the basic bean dip. Sometimes though, when we have tacos the night before and I've got a little taco meat left, um, I throw that in. So I'm gonna grab that, I forgot about that. Make a clean spoon. So by adding the leftover taco meat, we kind of call it super bean dip because then it really turns into something amazing. So I'm gonna add just a couple scoops. We eat this with um, corn chips. And if you want, you could put it in uh, tortillas and have it like a burrito. All right, so I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna get a bit of stir. Remember, this is all gonna get melty and hot and gooey and so delicious. I'm gonna add a little more salsa. It looks like it needs a tiny bit more moisture. Okay. All right, so there's two different ways you can cook this. You can cook this in the oven at 350 to 375 uh, for 20 minutes. You just want it hot and bubbly. Today we're gonna throw it in the microwave because I'm impatient. And we're gonna do a couple short spurts of four minutes, stir it four minutes until it's just hot and bubbly. So let's go to the microwave. Make sure you have a lid on it because it splatters everywhere. So I'm going to go four. whoops, well there's four minutes. I'm going to add 30 seconds to it and then we'll take it out and stir it and, and do it again. All right, so that was four and a half minutes. We're going to take it out, stir it and put it back here. See how it is. Oh, see, we're getting some bubbling around it. Smells so good. I don't know, I think we've been eating this for at least 10 years. So you just wanna kinda of work it because the microwave cooks from the outside to the inside, stir from the outside to the inside. We're really just looking to heat this up and get everything melted and really hot. All right, I think another four minutes and we're gonna be good. I think it's done, we're gonna check on it. Oh, it is. I hear it. Oh yeah, baby.
Now, some people like to leave it with all the, sour, the, the cream cheese and the cheddar chunks in it. And that's okay if you want to do that. We kind of like it stirred up a little more. This is going to be molten lava, so you want to be super careful. All right. Okay, let's plate this up. All right, so it's hot out of the microwave. Now, we never know the chip to dip ratio, so we usually put it in ramekins, plus my family doesn't like their food touching. So I just use these cute ramekins. You can look at all that taco meat in there. It's so delicious. Chunk of cheese. You sit that on there, serve it with your favorite tortilla chips. Get yourself a pop or a beer if you want, and you can sit down in front of the game with all your friends. This is great for entertaining. It's great for all year round. So let's have a taste here. It's so hot. It is molten lava, so be careful. Mmm, so good. We haven't made it all summer because it's been so hot. Mmm. Hey, thanks for joining me today to learn how to make bean dip. I hope you and your families enjoy it during this football season coming that we got. It's a great, a quick after church kind of snack or dinner. Remember, you can throw it in tortilla shells too. Hope you've enjoyed this and you enjoy this as much as we do. And I wish you a great day. Do I look fine? You look like a box. Are you waiting? Yeah, just in case. <laughs> Funny. Supper. Are you gonna get a snack? Are you Mama, gonna get a snack? Mama a whole oh my gosh, she did, didn't she? Yeah, and now you think. Ain't, ain't gonna happen again, pal. Supper <laughs> didn't want to tell you. Okay, here we go. Well, you can do something cute. Gonna taste good, I know.